Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm bringing you another wild food dinner. Uh, this is my favorite time of year because the spring greens are really fresh, really crisp, really loaded with um, nutrients. They're nutrient dense, plus they are high in chemicals that are healthy for us. So I wanted to show you a way that I work this into my regular daily diet and I will do this all the way through fall and what I have done is I have taken a simple tortilla wrap I put a little bit of honey mustard on it you can put anything you want on it now what I've got on here is violet leaves I've got the wild lettuce I've got the charlock mustard the wild mustard I've got violet blooms I've got some wood sorrel, the pink wood sorrel. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit more wild lettuce because you can never go with too uh, little wild lettuce. It's kind of like garlic. I, I should have gotten some wild garlic out in the yard. Well, that's, that's planting right there, really. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, slice up some tomatoes on here. And I'm going to put those, lay those on. I really like tomatoes this year in my garden. Instead of having a purposeful uh, medicinal garden, now I will have whatever comes up. Uh, I am going to be planting me a, I guess what you call a survival garden, a victory garden, with your basics. I'm lucky I live in a farming area so even if nothing came up I'd still be okay and we need to be preparing for these things uh, during this time if you had just a container on your uh, back deck or on your balcony or on your front porch where you could grow you uh, one tomato plant one pepper plant uh, one cantaloupe put a trellis in it uh, just the things that you enjoy eating. Uh, now this is a cabbage mix. I don't have any luck with cabbage, so I do purchase my cabbage. It's a cabbage and carrot mix. I love cabbage. I really do. Now this is a honey garlic sriracha chicken. Now I have recently discovered this stuff. It's grilled. Uh, don't judge me because uh, I do... I do love chicken and I love sriracha sauce and every now and then I will purchase me some now of course I work at a, at a chicken factory and a chicken plant and I do get a variety of things but um, I love this John Soles honey garlic sriracha chicken it's just delicious so right there that's my supper tonight it's uh, highly nutritious. It's healthy. It was easy to do. I just ran out the back door in the rain and picked these few little wild things. And I will wrap this up. I'll, I'll fold it into a wrap. And uh, I will have this. Now if you wanted to grill your tortilla wrap, that would be another way of doing it. And put some cheese on top. Uh, that would be a really delicious meal. And then as a side course, you could make you a smaller wild grain salad uh, with the wild lettuce, dandelion greens, violet greens, the blossoms, the wild mustard, the, the charlock mustard. Have that on the side and, and maybe a little chia seed dessert on the side. The chia pudding that I'm really partial to. But there's so many things that you can do to integrate the wild greens into your diet. And I really want y'all to... Now I do have many videos on this, how you do this. But this is a way to build our immunity and fight diseases. And what we have coming in front of us with the COVID. COVID. I'm hoping that you're all uh, taking good care of yourselves and using these wild greens or the dried 
uh, wild plants through ordering online. There, there's no guilt in that. Please, if that's the only way you can get these wild nutrients, please do so. Uh, Frontier Co-op is, is one that I can highly recommend. But if you can just go out in your front yard and pick some violet leaves, just a handful, or some white clover greens, just a handful, and a handful of dandelion greens, you can make your yourself a very nutritious meal. You can throw them in a, in a broth. You can uh, use them fresh in a salad or a wrap or a meal. Please do so because this is what's going to help us uh, have optimal health. And it's free. It's all free. So right now while people are in their homes and they're unable to get out, there's actually nutrient-dense food, healthful, nutritious food right outside our doors. And we need to be gathering this and we need to relearn this. So, uh, I'm going to have this. I'm sewing 20 masks tonight. So, I've got to build my nutrients up. So, until next time, God bless you all. I, I said a very lengthy prayer this morning on my way to work. Just prayerful for everyone. For myself included, the, the place where I work has um, many cases of covid and uh, some days I'm scared, but most days I'm very sincerely uh, faithful and hopeful and prayerful. And God will do what God will do. And our hands are, our lives are in His hands, and He sees all things. And I, I want it to be known that God does no wrong. Whatever he brings upon us, there will be good for our lives out of all of this. And it may very well be a return to families, to uh, single shift jobs. I remember a time when people just worked first shift. There was no second or third shift or working on weekends and Sundays. That was, that was not done. Maybe we can get back to that. Maybe we can cleave to our families and enjoy our time together. I truly believe that God's hand is in this and He will see us through. And so with that, I hope you all have a wonderful evening and take care and God bless you all.